Hello guys, Game Boy Hub here, and in today's video I'm gonna be showing you how to stream your PC's screen over to your Nintendo 3DS, and also use your Nintendo 3DS as a controller for games. Now your 3DS will need to have custom firmware for this video, and it will need to be modded, because in order to launch this application you will need the homebrew launcher, and you will also need a PC with an internet connection. So yeah, let's get started with the video. So once you guys are ready to start with the tutorial, just go to the first link in the description which should bring you to the Pinbox GitHub page. And Pinbox is basically a program that will let you stream your PC screen over to your 3DS and it will also let you use your 3DS as a controller on your PC. So on this page we'll need to download these two files right over here. So just click on both of them to download them, like so. And after downloading those two files you want to stay on the GitHub page and just go back to Pinbox over here and then you can scroll down and you can see the requirements to get Pinbox to run. And if you don't already have Visual C++ redistributable installed on your computer, you just want to get it from this link. And also if you are using a PC that runs something below Windows 10, so for example Windows 7 or Windows 8, you should also get this Xbox 360 accessory software from this link. And you don't need to worry about the virtual gamepad emulation framework, I'll show you where to get this later, because this link is not functioning. So yeah, I just wanted to mention that and we can continue. You. And now I have both files on my desktop, so let's first extract the first one. And in the zip file that is labeled with HB, you should see all these files. So now you want to connect your 3DS's SD card over to your computer. And now you just want to go into your 3DS folder, and then you just want to dump all of these files inside of the 3DS folder, like so. And now you can close out of this, and for the second one we'll actually need to extract. So just make a new folder on your desktop, and I'll just call it Pinbox like so, and I'll just extract all of these files into that new folder, like that, and then we can close out of this, and now we can delete the zip files, and now we can finally launch the pinbox folder. So you want to scroll down until you see a file called server.cfg, so you just want to double click on that, and then you just want to click on more apps up here, and then select notepad, and click OK, and you should see something like this, and for the monitor index you want to change this to 0 and you can also change this to 30 fps because it's automatically set to 60 and I will actually do that because that might give us a better connection and then you can just click on file and then save and then exit out of it and now we'll need to switch over to our 3DS so let's do that real quick and right now I just inserted the SD card back into my 3DS so now we'll need to launch the homebrew launcher And now we can scroll down with the d-pad and we should see a new app that is called Pinbox. So we can just press A to launch it and we should see a screen that looks something like this. So now we need to go back to our PC and now that we are back on our PC we'll need to launch the Pinbox server.exe app. So just double click on it and if Windows Defender blocks the app just allow the access. And you can see that we get an error that says can't connect to virtual controller, so we'll need to fix that up right now. And to get rid of that gamepad error, we will need to get the virtual gamepad emulation framework application. So you just want to go to the second link in the description, which will bring you to the download page. So just download it. And here is the app we'll need, so just click on this one to download it. And now we have the exe file on our desktop, so we can double click on it to launch it. And this little prompt should pop up, so just click next over here. You can also change the download location, but this one is absolutely fine. And I also do agree to the terms, so we can click next, and then install. And then we can click finish. And we must restart our computer for the changes to take effect, so I'll just do that right now. And I am back after the restart, so let's try to relaunch Pinbox server. And you can see that it says X360 connected successfully, which is great, that's exactly what we needed. So now you want to go back over to your 3DS, which you should have Pinbox launched on, and in the IP address box you'll need to type in the last IP that shows up on this list. So you can see that it says normally it should be the last one. I can't show you which one it is because for everyone it is unique, but it is basically the last one. And then we can go back to our 3DS after you type that in. And now that we are back on our 3DS and we have the IP typed in, you just want to click on the start button and then your stream should start up successfully. And also if you don't know how to type the IP in you just want to click this edit button in order to type it in and then you should get the keyboard 
But yeah, you can see that I'm moving the mouse around currently on my PC and that it is moving around on the screen. So right now I'll just try to play a game with the 3DS's controls. So I'll go ahead and launch the Ryu Jinx Nintendo Switch emulator. And now I'll just go back to my PC to show you how to set up the controls. And in order to configure the controller with this emulator, just go into the options tab and then click settings. And then you should see input. And then we can configure player one over here. And now you should see an Xbox 360 controller on the list, which actually is the 3DS. So just select that. And you can see that it automatically maps all of the buttons, but you can also map them by yourself. I'll just try to push the A button on the 3DS to see if it works. So I'll just select A and now I'll push the button on the 3DS. And you can see that it was successfully mapped, which means that it works. So now we can save the settings. And you can also configure the controller in this type of way inside of an actual PC game. So yeah, whatever thing you want to play, just select the Xbox 360 controller and configure it from there. And now I'll just launch Mario Kart 8 Deluxe to see how it looks on the 3DS. And I will also make it full screen. And it seems like we messed something up because the stream disconnected. So I'll just go back on the PC and reconnect it. So we'll need to exit out of the entire program and then we'll need to relaunch it. Yeah, this sometimes happens with this app because it is not an official app, of course, so it can't work perfectly. But yeah, the IP should still be the same and I'll just click start right now. And there we go, now it is working again. And yeah, now it seems to not be working again, so maybe it just can't work while the emulator is in full screen. And yeah, when the emulator is not in full screen, it actually seems to work absolutely fine. So I don't know what that is all about. But you can also see that the controller works, which is quite important. So let's select single player. And right now, we are actually playing Mario Kart 8 Deluxe on the Nintendo 3DS, which I think is pretty impressive. So yeah, I guess this is a pretty cool little app. It's not really useful for anything particular, but I just think it's pretty cool to see something like this running on the 3DS. You can see that the stream is quite slow, but it is whatever. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more videos like this one. Also, please check out my Twitter and Instagram. And I will see you guys in the next video.